What's going on everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder where we talk all things Marvel and everything relating to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And we have only a couple of more days until we get the next episode, episode 6 of WandaVision. And although we may have gotten some answers to some of our questions in regards to WandaVision, we still have a lot more questions about what exactly is going on. But one thing that I have specifically been wondering about is Ultron. And spoiler warning, if you haven't seen WandaVision episodes 1 through 5 essentially, there are going to be some spoilers in this video. Everyone was pretty mad that Ultron was only in one movie. He is a huge villain in the Marvel Universe, one of the biggest ones, and he got killed off in just one film. Or did he? What if Ultron never died and has secretly been plotting his revenge against the Avengers, and more specifically, Wanda, who betrayed him and basically defeated him in Avengers Age of Ultron? Does Marvel have more plans for Ultron? It appears that they very well could. I don't think we've seen the end of Ultron, because in the comics he always pops back up periodically. It's basically impossible to kill him because Ultron isn't a person, he's AI. He lives digitally, so why would it not be the same in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Well, since before WandaVision even premiered, there have been a lot of rumors stating that Ultron could be returning in WandaVision. And now, Ultron's name has been dropped two times throughout WandaVision. Now, obviously Ultron has a very big connection to Wanda since Age of Ultron. Her and her brother Petra were basically on his side until ultimately betraying him and defeating him. But Ultron is a big part of her past and they've been showing us Wanda's past in these weird commercials all throughout WandaVision. They've talked about Hydra a couple of times and they've talked about Lagos where she accidentally killed a bunch of people. And I don't think we've seen the end of flashbacks to Wanda's past yet. And I think Ultron is going to make another appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And here are three very realistic ways that he could return to the MCU and I think the the third one is actually truly happening in WandaVision. But we'll start with number one, and that is, he is born into a new reality, the one that Wanda has created. If this happens, he could return in this new reality in one of two ways. The first part is that he could simply just appear as a mere part of this weird reality. An illusion, maybe. Maybe he could be conjured up by Mephisto or Nightmare if they are the ones who are truly controlling this reality. And this would be especially true if it's Nightmare, because Nightmare feeds off of fear, and Ultron is the reason that her brother Pietro died, and if Nightmare is the villain, it would make sense that Ultron returns to her in the form of one of her greatest fears in this weird reality. Now this first way means that he could only exist in this reality, but the second part is that he's created in this reality, but he actually goes back into the real reality. This is something that happened in the comics. Wanda revived some people in one reality, and when that reality got broken down, they actually appeared in the main reality, still alive. Wanda has already proved that she can create things in this new reality. We have her two twin boys. This this actually threw off Jimmy Woo, because he didn't think that she could actually create things, he thought that Wanda could only control things that were already there. So it's clear that things can be created in this reality. And as far as the twins are concerned, it's already been stated that we have not seen the end of them. This implies that they also can create this reality that is created by Wanda. And if they can escape, we can assume that a created Ultron in this reality could escape as well. So that's one way that Ultron could return. The second way that he could return is through Hydra slash AIM. They could bring him back. Now we haven't exactly figured out what all these hexagons mean. They could very well be AIM. Nothing is really certain at this point. But it appears that Hydra has already played a significant role in WandaVision with their callbacks. And of course Hydra are the ones that experimented on Wanda and Pietro and gave them their powers. Now as we've learned, if you cut off one head of Hydra, three more grow back. So it would be kind Kind of foolish for us to think that Hydra is actually gone. But we know that Hydra played a big part in Ultron and Wanda's life. The connection is there, and AIM is also apparently going to play some part in the MCU moving forward. Maybe not in WandaVision, but definitely in Ant-Man and the Wasp. So them showing up in WandaVision isn't out of the picture. And what if Hydra and or AIM thinks they can bring back Ultron and use him as a weapon? It's kind of the perfect plan if they can do it successfully. And this is something that AIM and Hydra would try to do. And I actually think that director Tyler Hayward could be a part of it. Especially after he showed the footage of Wanda breaking into a sword facility and taking Vision's body. He seemed to be quite upset about that, and I think that's because he actually has his own plans for Vision. Hayward could want him back because they're actually trying to bring back Ultron. 
It's very clear by the footage that we saw that Hayward himself showed to S.W.O.R.D. that Vision was being experimented on. They had dismembered all parts of his body connected to his torso, his legs, his arm, his head, and there were a bunch of scientists in the room. And as we know, Vision was actually supposed to be Ultron originally. Then you have to take into the fact that S.W.O.R.D. is now making weapons. This was noted in WandaVision Episode 4 when Monica Rambeau talked about making weapons. Not to mention S.W.O.R.D. used to stand for Sentient World Observation and Response Department, and now in the MCU, it stands for Sentient Weapon Observation and Response Department. So it's very clear that S.W.O.R.D. is trying to make weapons, and what better weapon to have than Ultron if they can control him? In which, good luck, because Tony Stark thought he could, and he was wrong on that one. Initially, at least. So, that's the second way that he could come back. S.W.O.R.D. recreates him, or maybe Tyler Hayward is secretly working for HYDRA, and it's HYDRA that's going to recreate him. That facility could have very well been a HYDRA facility, because many of the members of S.W.O.R.D. were very shocked to see the footage. But the third way that he could come back is that he was actually never dead. Ultron never left. He's AI, artificial intelligence. He is in the internet. You can't really get rid of him. We already saw him transfer his consciousness into other robots in Age of Ultron. It was super seamless for him. He doesn't really seem to have a base robot or mainframe that everything operates from. For him, it's very fluid. There isn't an absolute Ultron. He exists digitally, and it may not be that hard for him to return, especially if there's going to be new AI Stark Iron Legion bots going around. Around, which there probably are considering the fact that we're going to get armor wars which is about what happens when Stark technology iron suits fall into the wrong hands. This could also be a hint that Ultron may not be done and in fact could have never been done but could have been plotting his revenge against the Avengers the entire time. Now, as we know, he hated Stark the most, but unfortunately, Tony Stark is dead. And the next people he probably hates the most after Stark are probably Vision, Wanda, and Pietro. Well, Pietro's dead, and Vision is dead. Kind of. Maybe. We'll see what happens. But Wanda is alive. And if Ultron has still been around this entire time, he could have been watching and waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. And perhaps that opportunity could be seizing control over Vision's body. Now, when Vision was alive, there's no way this could happen, because Vision wouldn't let it happen. But now Vision is dead, and when S.W.O.R.D. had a hold of him, he seemed to be connected to some type of hardware, which means he could be connected to the internet. Which means that Ultron could definitely figure out a way to get inside of Vision, and perhaps take over him. Now, when S.W.O.R.D. had him and had him dissembled, that probably wouldn't do too good for Ultron. It would still be pretty hard to put himself back together, but now Vision is put back together. And although we don't really know yet, Vision really hasn't been himself, so perhaps Ultron may get his opportunity sometime soon. But those are the three ways that I think Ultron could come back, and I think he will come back, it's only a matter of time, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you love Marvel, love theories, and want to stay up to date on the latest MCU news, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. Don't forget to give the video a like, and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Wolf Wolf.